Okay, so we're rolling. How do you want to start? Release some greenhouse gases. Very cool. Maybe do a wink as well. Nice. The mainstream press is commenting on the fact that... Uh, maybe flashes a nip whilst you're talking. I was informing Greta... Oh, that's lovely. ...that my very extensive car collection run on dead dinosaurs. Should we be fact-checking any of this? Because that dinosaur thing isn't true. So you sound like an idiot a bit. ...have an enormous emission... Pause for effect. ...profile. Lovely. And she replied by telling me her own email address. Ooh, Andy, I don't think it was actually her email address. I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address? I think she was exaggerating for comedic... Oh, God. How to explain comedy to an idiot. She was using the sort of form of an email address to indicate what she thought of you. I actually don't even think at getalife.com is a real domain. I'm just going to find out. You're not doing a, like, got ya by saying that's her email address. Because she's already said that's her email address. I'm not actually mad at Greg. You don't seem it either. This feels like a really mature response to it. A 19 year old. Oh, the pizza's here. Oh, will we stop? Please bring me pizza and oh. uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. We do not need to do a second take of this. The Global Matrix got this bot farm to like and retweet. Because there is no way that people like Greta more than they like you. I mean, look at you. <laughs> look at us. Greta. Do an impression of it. With a little hate filled face. That is brilliant. Sitting somewhere without the heating on, in the cold, a little hat, shivering. <laughs> <laughs> in a hat, shivering. <laughs> Use my tweets, which is going to make my Twitter account far more fun into eternity. And that's a wrap. Great work, everybody. Uh, I'm going to send that across to you, Andy. What's your email address? Don't get jokes at imacunt.com. Great.